YouTubers. Well, this is a, a viewer's request video. Some time ago I was asked if I could uh, do a video on how to change the oil on a GL1800 Honda Goldwing. This is a 2006 Honda Goldwing, a GL1800, and throughout the uh, GL1800 series from 2001 on up till now, they're pretty well the same. So uh, let's get at it. We're going to put it up on the bike ramp and we're going to uh, show you exactly what needs to be done. So before we drain in the oil, what I like to do is I like to take a squiggly little thing like that and I like to get in behind here and pull this off. It pulls out from the back, slides back like that. Then I like to loosen up the dipstick like that. And now we'll go over and we'll take the drain plug out. Okay folks, there's the drain plug right here. It's a 17 millimeter. So you put your wrench on it like that, pull it off, and hopefully it's got oil in it. Like that. Now there's going to be a washer, an aluminum washer. You really should change them. So, when you do go get your oil filter at your Honda dealer, you want to ask for a new washer. So, right there on the other side, to the left of the drain plug, is the oil filter. Now, with the 2006 models, they have foot warmers. And there's a little cable right here. So, all you got to do is just push the cable out of the way, and you can take your little socket, and slide it on over the oil filter like that and I'll try to do this without getting in your way here hard to do hard to do yeah so move this over once you get it loose you just simply unscrew it Now, when you get your filter off, you want to make sure that the rubber gasket or the rubber other the rubber O-ring stayed on the filter and not on the engine. If you don't see the rubber here, you'll reach up here and pull it down there because uh, you don't want to double them up. You'll lose your oil pressure. So we'll take that now. We'll put it in the in the uh, the oil drain in the shop here, and we'll come back. So this is the OEM Honda filter. It comes wrapped in, wrapped up like that. If you don't get it wrapped up like that, don't take it. These are expensive bikes and they deserve a clean filter. As you can see, the O-ring is on there. I'm gonna make sure it's on there. Now, what I like to do, I like to prime the filter. And I also like to use synthetic oil in it. This is the type of oil that we're using today. I really find a synthetic oil with the Honda Goldwings make them shift much smoother. They're not so clunky. You don't have a, a tendency to miss a shift. And uh, I've been using them in hours for, well, since pretty well the second oil change we've ever done. And, uh, but this is, this is probably one of the best oils that I've ever used in a Goldwing, is this particular type here. So, but oil is a touchy subject, I realize that. So what I do is I like to prime it up. And that gives the engine half a chance when you go to start it. It's not running on a, a dry filter. 
and people say yeah but you're gonna lose it when you tip it up well yeah you will a little bit but it's best to uh, it's best to do it this way and you take a little dab and you put it around the oil filter uh, o-ring and now we're ready to put the drain plug back in when this finishes draining and then we'll go to work and put our filter on. Yeah, so all you got to do to tighten it up is, I don't use a torque wrench or anything, I just put it on just a little bit better than hand tight and that's good. Now all the oil that I put in that filter, just look. Oh, yeah. It's empty again. Yes. An oil filter takes a lot of oil. It really soaks up. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it goes to show, if you put that oil filter on dry, how long it would take yeah. that motor to pump that filter up. True. While it's pumping that filter up, there's other things waiting to get oil. And it's saying, I need oil. At least this way here, you're going to get oil. Even now you can see, look, I filled it up again and it's still half full. That's amazing. Yeah, so it, it absorbs a lot of oil, right? So now we're going to go up in here again. You can actually see where it's got to go. Oh, yes, yes. Right? I see where it came from. So I'm not going to put the pan in under it, so we're going to see how much I lose out of it. One drop. Voila. One drop. One drop. Now, when I'm putting the filter on these, I put them in until they bottom out. You can't over tighten them unless you really nail them. But you put them in until they stop, and you're good to go. You watch what I mean. That's it. Yeah, you can feel it, huh? Yeah, you'll feel it when it stops. Yeah. That's when, the, that's when that gasket, that rubber o-ring, is completely flat up against the bike and the filter itself. So anybody that had any worries about filling the filter or priming the filter, thinking you're going to make a mess, there's living proof. Yeah. So this bike got half a chance when you, uh, when you start it up. You'll have instant oil pressure. And I kind of like to do that with all my filters on everything. Because you take over a period of this bike, like we've had our bike how long? Our Gold Wing. Almost be 13 years. Yeah. So, I mean, in 13 years, we've done, well, at least 13 or 14 oil changes. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you take 13 or 14 oil changes with dry filters. Wow. It takes its toll after a while on an engine. So, it's just my opinion. I'm sure there'll be others out there to uh, argue the fact. So, now we're going to go over on the other side and we're going to start to refill the engine. Okay, so you use a nice clean filter or funnel and put your clean funnel down here like that. Make sure everything's kept clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And we're going to try to do this on one take without rehearsing or... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You we're should have right. no trouble uh, doing this with four liters. But what I like to do is I like to dump pretty well all of it in except maybe for the last one-tenth of the, the four-liter barrel there, and then check it. And it's going to take it a little bit slow. You don't want to force-feed it. So when we get it uh, pretty well dumped out, we'll be right back. So there's a little bit left in that, that tub. So I'm going to put the dipstick down, screw it right in, I'm going to go get my trusty little ladder, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to start it up. But while I'm starting it up, I'm going to look and make sure that the oil pressure light goes off. And then I'm going to come back, shut it off, come back, and then make sure that the fluids are all topped up. change the, if you didn't fill up the filter it would have been a little longer. Man, there's some mosquitoes in here. There is. 
we got the door closed. So, here is the dipstick. The oil level should be up to that first mark right there. Little notch with the going across. That's where it should be. When you check them, you put them down in the engine like that, but you don't screw them in. You bring it back up. And we don't see it on the dipstick. So now we dump the rest of it in. But it's a very, very small gap between not seeing it on the dipstick to over full. So I'm going to dump half of this in and I'm going to check it again. Just starting to see it on the dipstick. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's better to take it easy than overflow. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Master has the authority. I guess say four four liters is pretty well it's pretty well it but sometimes I put the four liters in it's been a touch just a touch over full and I like to have it close to dead on as I can possibly get it so boy I'm gonna tell you it's pretty close okay, this needs another drip we're gonna give her we're going to give her. Yeah, so move that over here. Have a look. It's dead on. Yeah, perfect. Oh, so, so now. Here's a little tech tip for you Goldwing owners out there, especially the guys with the brand new bikes. This one here has already had done what I'm going to tell you to do because we have serviced this bike on many occasions. On these grommets, right here, right here, and right here, you can see there's a grommet here, and it stayed in there. That's supposed to be right there like that. And what I like to do is I like to take some dielectric grease or silicone release agent. And I like to take a little dab and put it right there like that. Now, why do I do that? Asks everybody. Well, I'll tell you why I do that. For one thing, it makes it easy to get off later on in life. And the other thing is, is if you don't do it, and these grommets here especially get dry, when you go to push this cover on, these dowels will actually push them out of the hole. And you could be going up the road sometime with your feet up on your highway pegs and this blow off the bike. So even if you had a little bit of grease, anything is better than nothing. Butter is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and then how you reapply this is you put this back on, up here like that, up here like that. That, my friends, is how you change the oil on a Honda GL1800 Goldwing. And, uh, I hope you learn something from it. I hope you get something out of it. But remember, the most important part is keep everything clean and ride safe. Enjoy your summer. <laughs>